So what, what are we going to use here is, uh, <coughs> it's a business model canvas. It's a relatively new approach from one guy from Switzerland. He actually created nine categories of uh, business modeling into one kind of template or one kind of methodology, and it's very useful. So if you will, maybe some of you will continue with this project that you are dealing here. This model is quite standardly used by evaluators in the EU, getting some funds, also some, some other countries, they, they can use this kind of. So if you write a, a business plan that will use the business model canvas, it can be really well understand on the, on the funding side from the specialists, they will evaluate your proposals as well. So what this, I will be very short with that and I will give you a short video later. What kind of, these are the nine, the nine categories that you have. And there is a short video I will show you. It's explained in two minutes much better than I explain it in So basically, in this modeling stuff that you do, you can start at, you start from the right side. First of all, you don't think about this, what kind of systems do you use, what kind of stuff do you use. First of all, you think of the customer. The customer, who is your customer, where is your customer, what kind of customers you can have on that side. Then, what is your value proposition? What are your products, what are your services, what can you deliver? You know, you have different streams, you have some training, you have, I don't know, maybe some tourism attraction, like stuff like that. Then, how are you going to deliver? How can you deliver this value that you have to a customer that you relate with this customer segment you have? And how will you keep the relationship? Maybe you sell online, then you have some customer management over online system. If you sell directly in one place, then you have a different approach how to keep relationship with your customer. On the other hand, then you can start with what do you need, what kind of aquaponics, what kind of fish, what kind of plants, what kind of thing. The next thing is what kind of team will you need. So you will need people, you will need, I don't know, maybe some other help when you will do harvesting, you might need additional people and stuff like that. And the key partner stuff, you have to think about financing and also maybe some technological help that you will need, some other stuff you will come up with. And then in these two areas we will deal with it more in detail tomorrow. So you just put some text on it. You may, you may know that you can sell tomatoes, I don't know, for two to three euros per kilogram. If you sell it on site, maybe if you sell it to a retailer for, I don't know, 50 cents or something like that. So you, came, you can come up with, with text and with some basic figures. And we will do calculations tomorrow. So this kind of money stuff, the boring part, <laughs> we'll do tomorrow. And you can just start with it because some other categories we will also go much more detail into it. But it's a start and you can come up with this data structuring it like in this template. What you're going to do, you're going to use, well you can use this one or you can make, you can draw a bigger one if you like and you put stick lead, uh, leaflets on it. So don't, don't do any, any writing on this. The original author explained it like this, he said that if it was meant to write on the plan, then God wouldn't invent the stick on it. So I wish you good luck. We have another one and a half hour to complete these this plans. If you have any questions, we are available. Same working groups, same fun. <laughs> You, will, you, you can also get, you have some questions on the, on the, for each category to ask, to help you answer some of the questions. You can have it, it's here.